What's up, I'm Troubleshoot, the Steam Summer Sale 2025 is now live, and in this video I'll take you through everything you need to know about it to get the most out of this sale, and of course we'll run through some popular games that are currently on super deep discount. Let's get into it. Heading across to the Steam homepage, you can see that the Summer Sale is now currently live until July 10th, 10am PT. There's a couple of highlighted games, but let's start off at the very top, things that you can collect, scroll all the way down to explore your discovery queue, and here you can grab some free stuff stickers just by going through this. If I click it, we'll see the new discovery overlay, although it's not really working for me here. You'd basically see the game, some text and things like that. All you need to do is just spam click right through this all the way to the end where you'll be presented with this. I think it's just very slow as everyone's using this right now. Check out the last sale video that I did. It should look something more like this. You click through it all the way until the final page over here where you've seen that you've earned three stickers for the summer sale 2025 and a little progress bar. You'll need to go through this queue three times in order to get everything. If you head across to the next link down below the items collection, you can see exactly how much you've earned and how far you are for stickers, avatars, and things like that. It seems like I can't run through this again, so I'll just have to wait until the Steam servers are working again, but you'll be able to earn all nine of these stickers here. This is what they all look like. There's big ears, Careful courier, creature, family, floating angel, robot staff, rocking out, ship float, turtle trot, and the water weaver. You'll also notice that there's a couple more things down here, all from the Steam Point Shop. If we check out the Point Shop, clicking this over here, or the next link down below, you'll see that under Featured, followed by See All, here is the Summer Sale 2025 collection. You can purchase all of them with a Point Shop discount, but you can of course purchase the Special Profile, which changes your profile file image to this animated one here, gives you a border, and of course this animated background as well. Scrolling down further, you can see there's an animated avatar, avatar frames, this one's a bit different to what we saw, this one's animated. Profile backgrounds, you'll see that there's quite a few variants here. We've got this sort of goopier looking one, I guess, in a bunch of different colors, and this more traditional Steam background over here with this dark blur going on. Pretty cool. Scrolling down further, emoticons, you can use these in all Steam chats when you purchase them. Some of them look pretty good. You could of course purchase these separately or purchase the bundle, which I'll do here, for Steam points. Basically, if you don't know by now, you earn Steam points just by spending money on Steam in in-game purchases, buying things, etc. You earn around 100 points per dollar you spend, which means that to purchase the full 17,000 point bundle, you'd have to spend at least $170 on Steam, which is quite a bit. But you can of course purchase these separately if you wish, and it doesn't seem like you get anything special for purchasing the full bundle, Besides a discount, refreshing the items collection page. Obviously, I can't finish the discovery queue quite just yet, but I've collected everything else here except for the trading cards at the very bottom. Trading cards, badges, and leveling up your Steam account. Steam sales like the summer and winter sale are the best time to level up your Steam account whenever you purchase a game, purchase an item in a game, etc., spend money on Steam, you'll receive card drops for the Steam Summer Sale, for which you can put together 10 unique cards into a Summer Sale badge, as you can see here. And the most unique thing about these badges is that there's no level limit as to how high you can go. So if you can get a bunch of these cards for cheap, you can level up your account really quickly at 100 XP per level. And of course, not to mention, spending money on Steam earns you these cards, but not just that. If we go ahead and check out the badges page and finish off collecting all the cards necessary to craft something, when you go ahead and craft any badge, including the Summer Sale badge, you'll see that, well, we're getting an error here. I think, again, Steam is just overwhelmed, but you'd usually get the profile background and emoticon from whatever game you're crafting a badge towards, but you also get a random Summer Sale card drop, which is huge. So if there's any time during the year to level up your Steam account, it's right now. And if you're looking for a fantastic, fast way to level up your Steam account, check out this video's sponsor, Duobot. Duobot.com is a great place to level up your Steam account really, really quickly. Simply head to the link in the description down below for an extra five cents, sign in in the top right. But if you get an error while logging in, head across to your Steam profile, edit privacy settings, and make sure your privacy is set to public as well as your inventory. Once you're signed in, you can use this button to check the bot's latest prices. And when you're ready to level up your account under your profile, 
URL, choose profile, then set your trade URL, which if you don't already have it, click the link here and copy it from your Steam page to here and save. While you're here, you can also use the referral system to refer friends to earn 3% of what they spend and your friends get a bonus 5 cents per invite. You can use your link here. When you're ready to level up, choose level up, select your dream Steam level starting from your current level, I'll say 10. Then you'll see what you earn down here and below you'll see what it costs in keys, gems, skins and of course balance. You can choose balance in the top right to top up your account with major payment processes, cryptocurrency, Kingwin, G2A or skins through skins back. Don't forget to use promo code T-Shoot for an extra 5 cents. Now once you choose a dream level and select a payment method, you'll be sent a trade request with all of your brand new cards. Head to your inventory, trade offers, make sure the offer came from the correct website, confirm it, then head across to your badges page where you can craft each of these individually. Otherwise, check out the Duobot extension which can automatically create many badges at once using this brand new button once you've installed it. Just like that, your account should be a much higher level really quickly. Also, a brand new feature, check out the new store tab where you can purchase card sets, gems, and even keys where the card sets include any of the games listed here. After you click into something, you can purchase specific sets or foil sets, and you'll also see what you can earn and their value when you craft those sets in emoticons and backgrounds. You can check the bot's inventory by looking at the number in the bottom right of each game's card, or if you're looking at keys in a similar place. A huge thank you to Geobot for sponsoring this guide. Now, obviously, using a trading card bot isn't the only way to get trading cards. You could, of course, ask your friends nicely, spend money on Steam, craft other badges, etc. But definitely don't overlook the power of major Steam sales when it comes to leveling up your Steam account. On the Steam Card Exchange, also linked down below, you'll see all the different trading cards here that we can get, as well as the foil variants, which are just normal trading cards and worth probably 10 times the amount. If you get one of these, these foil trading cards, I definitely recommend selling it and probably purchasing another full set of the usual trading cards here, unless you really want the foil badge, which just costs a lot more. It doesn't earn you any extra XP. And refreshing the page as this is super fresh, you can now see the different badge levels and what they look like. So if you choose to craft the normal badge, you can collect all of these here. And it goes all the way up to level 400 at the moment, probably more coming in the future when someone surpasses that. And of course, the higher you go, the more XP you'll earn. And the foil badges similarly currently only have two levels, which are these here, foil level one and level three, although these will be very expensive to get to, at least comparatively. The winter sale, as previously, had quite a few more, all the way up to the 250 bracket at the time of recording this video, but I have no doubt you'll see more levels here if you're really interested in that and have got money to burn. For those of us that don't have money to burn, besides purchasing things that we can actually get use from, like games, let's quickly run through the best games currently on sale, the deepest discounts, etc. Well, you can scroll through the Steam store page and see some games recommended for you based on Steam's algorithm, you're not really going to find the true gems. For this, I personally use SteamDB, which you'll find linked down below. And of course, recording this so early, some of these are likely to change and some of them are probably missing. But if we sort by only historical lows and probably matching lows, you'll see the games with the deepest discount currently. Starting from the top, SteamWorld Dig and two of the games are apparently 100% off, but visiting their pages, it just seems very cheap, not necessarily free. Maybe I'm missing something, but besides these, some fantastic games with new historic lows that I would recommend are likely Death Stranding, Director's Cut, Dead Space is an oldie but a goldie, Horizon Forbidden West, GTFO, Deep Rock Galactic, matching its historic low, as well as Dave the Diver, Animal Well, Human Fall Flat, Hades 2, Overcooked 2, Near Automata, Chivalry 2, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, if you're into that, Battlefield 2042, 95% off, Black Myth Wukong, 20% off, Power World 25, Battlefront 2, 90% off, as well as a lot of games that I haven't really heard of, and there's quite literally 8 pages of probably 100 games that have new historic lows, or at least matching historic lows. I definitely recommend scrolling through this list, and if I quickly sort by rating, these are currently the best rated games at their lowest prices ever. You can have a quick read through this. A lot of these I don't recognize besides Dave the Diver, Blackmouth Wukong, Don't Starve, Dredge, maybe Animal Well, My Friend Pedro, 
document for a flat. And of course, if you wish, you can also show two year lows. These might not be the biggest sales for specific games, but it's the lowest price that they've been in at least two years. And there's quite a few notable ones here, like Oxygen Not Included, Tomb Raider, Don't Starve Together, Dead Space 2, Hacknet, The Escapists 2, Golf With Your Friends, The Medium, and a few other things like that. Now, if you choose to sign into SteamDB with your Steam account, you can also show only wishlisted or followed items, which it seems you'll also need their browser extension for. And of course, you can hide your own games so you don't see duplicates of what you already have. And of course, if we sort by discount, these games at the top are free to keep, including SteamWorld Dig. There's a bunch of games at 95% off, including most of the Battlefield series. In fact, most EA titles, Star Wars, as well as a couple sports games from EA, etc, etc. There's far too much to cover, but again, you'll find this page linked down below. It's incredibly useful. And with that, you've heard basically everything you need to know about the Steam Summer Sale 2025. It's a fantastic time to level up your Steam account, purchase new games, play things with your friends, etc. Also, definitely worth mentioning, the Steam Deck, I don't think is currently on sale, but I'm unable to load this page at all, so check the comments down below if you're interested in purchasing a Steam Deck or Steam Deck docking station. As soon as I find out if these are on sale, you'll find out down below as well. And of course, if there's anything extra I need to add to this video, you'll find that there too. But yeah, again, a huge thank you to Duobot for sponsoring this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.